Hey guys, today we're putting together a Windows 98 retro gaming PC for games from around 1997 and maybe even 1998. The video card is quite an interesting one. We have the Nvidia River 128 ZX, which launched in 1998. It is an improved version of the regular River 128 that launched a year earlier in 1997. What is really interesting about the River 128 is that, at least for me, is the role it played in the graphics card history. It marked the point of Nvidia accelerating their product releases and being on the way to becoming the leader in PC graphics within the next few years. There was competition from ATI, S3 and Matrox, but the main rival was clearly 3DFX with their Voodoo graphics card. The Voodoo was an add-on 3D accelerator, so you had to have another graphics card to pass through your desktop 2D image. The River 128, on the other hand, was a highly integrated processor. It handled 2D and 3D and also a very strong card for MS-DOS. The Voodoo and River 128 both produce a very unique image. The Voodoo has a very soft and filtered image, doing a good job at hiding imperfections of early 3D games. The image looks quite good on a CRT monitor, but with modern displays it does look quite soft and blurry. The River 128 is the opposite. It produces a very sharp and detailed image, sometimes too detailed, and with very little filtering going on, looking very similar to a software rendered image and with quite a bit of grain and noise in the image. So let's begin with putting together our retro gaming PC. We use a test bench for this build. Check the top right hand corner for a video review of this particular model. The motherboard we're using has been used quite a few times on this channel. It's a Dell OEM version of an Intel Socket 370 motherboard with the 815 chipset. With the processor we're going with something a little bit faster. It is the Pentium 3 running at 1000 MHz. The graphics card is a model from Creative. With the River 128 ZX chip can double the video memory from 4 MB to 8 MB, which was quite impressive for this time. It lets you run very high resolutions, but you quickly realize that the graphics card is just way too slow to really take advantage of that. Other improvements include a better VGA signal and NTSC and PAL TV output with flicker filter. For sound, we're going with something really nice from Turtle Beach. It is the Santa Cruz. This card ranks amongst the top Windows 98 sound cards with very decent drivers and excellent sound quality. Windows 98 is our operating system for this build today. After installing it, we are loading the chipset drivers. The video card actually supports AGP2X, which was cutting edge technology at the time. We also need graphics and sound card drivers. Both are the latest and greatest versions that are available. We are also installing DirectX 7. This version has good backwards compatibility with older games. Usually I always run a few benchmarks, but benchmarking the River 128 is a bit challenging as this card has no option to disable VSync. You can use PowerStrip, which is a great tool, but it simply has no effect. It relies on the game or benchmark to turn off VSync. So in Final Reality, for example, we're getting 123 FPS in the robots test and 179 FPS in the CD scene. In 3D Mark 99 Max, we're getting 1,401 points, and in 3D Mark 2000, 587 points. So clearly, the graphics card and the processor are a bit of a mismatch. We are definitely bottlenecked body video card, but this does ensure that we are extracting the most performance out of this card. So let's check out a few games and how they run on this machine. All games today are from around 1996 to 1998 and run at 640 by 480 with 16 bit colors because acquiring and installing all these games can be very time consuming and costly, we are mostly using demos from back in the day. They install very quickly and are period correct, meaning they aren't modified to work on modern computers like you will find with games from GOG or Steam. We also have fraps running in the background in most games, giving us an indicator about the performance. Get out of here and help Elaine. If I could only get through this one door, then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, Captain! Keep it going. 
take some time to come to a complete stop. A group of cargo containers has just warped in. Target SeaTac 01A. Good. Now inspect these cargo containers. Very good. I did not hear you traverse the room. Not enough minerals. SCP, good Additional to go, supply sir. depots required. Not enough minerals. So that was quite a range of games and most of them do run quite well on the River 128ZX. A couple of demos didn't work well as they were specifically for 3FX Voodoo cards and others would only offer software rendering, so compatibility is not perfect. But do keep in mind that we are using demo versions. Often the full version has been patched to support more 3D cards. In Motor Racer, for example, the smoke isn't displayed correctly in the demo, but this is fixed in the full version of the game. So this was a look back to the early days of Windows 3D gaming and playing at 640x480 as your default resolution. Technology moved very quickly around that time, so if you play a game that are a year or two later, then this graphics card will really struggle. So if you're using an older video card like this, it is important to select suitable games as otherwise you're not going to get a very good experience. And because technology moved so fast, with a card like the River 128ZX, you are limited to a small range of games that run well on it. Let me know what you think about this project down below in the comment sections. Do you prefer the 3DFX Voodoo or the River 128? Please subscribe, click on the notification bell, like or dislike and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and I shall see you soon with another one.